Hi, I'm Libby Gibson, Town Manager. Welcome to What's Going On in Town Government. Gina, we're back. It's good to be back, Libby. We haven't been on in months. Months. And people are, they're really upset, which is, they you are, know, come on. Yeah, they've probably been wondering, did, what happened? It's okay. We're back now. We're back. Chill out. Yeah. Calm. We're, keep calm. We're, <laughs> we're back. So. Wow. We'll talk about why we were off. Later. Later. Let's get right into business. Right into business. On Wednesday at the board meeting, we had two board meetings. We had the swearing-in board meeting at 10 a.m., swearing the uh, board members who got elected at the April 9th election, which were Matt Fee re-elected and Christy Farantella elected to replace Jim Kelly, who did not run again. So that was, um, that was the swearing-in. Yep. So then we had our evening meeting, and on the evening meeting, I'm just going to look through the agenda because at Friday I can't remember anything that happened. It wasn't that much, but there was one. There thing. were a couple of things that took took quite a while. We talked about a couple of committees that the board has authorized to be established. One is a Coastal Resiliency Advisory Committee. The other is a Cannabis Advisory Committee. So we talked a bit about what both of those groups will do, and the board is going to finalize their missions at the end of the month. And I, I'm really confused about the Coastal Advisory. I don't understand how that, how can you stop Mother Nature? What are you going to advise people? Well, okay. So the idea, big picture, yeah. is that this group will work with town staff and other stakeholders to promote, proceed with, implement the, co the town's coastal resili resiliency plan, which is almost finished and will, they'll probably update it tweak it, modify it from time, make recommendations about all of those things on an annual basis to the board, maybe more frequently if needed. But the idea is basically that we look at areas of the island that are vulnerable to climate change and sea level rise and recommend what measures could be taken to mitigate, make more resilient in the advancing of these well, things that are going I'm to happen. About. Well, so for example, uh, this is just an example not thought through, only discussed on the surface, but the bulkheads along Easy Street. The town recently replaced the bulkhead it owns along Easy Street. There are other bulkheads on either side of that that have been a little replaced or worked on or not, but they're not consistent. They need to be consistent. If, if somebody on the waterfront is replacing a bulkhead or doing some work to their infrastructure down there, it needs to be brought up to a standard that is going to withstand, to the best of our ability, rising sea level, for example, and increase in storms and high flooding and stuff like that. The impacts of all of those things. Uh, it is, these improvements are meant to make, you know, be able to withstand that stuff. So, more. so I mean, I, well, the only thing I can think of that we're doing, that somebody's doing, is what they're doing in Wisconsin. Well, that is a uh, an, an example of hardening yep. the coast, this coastal is, area, yeah, right. and that may or may not be something that happens in other areas yeah. of the island. But okay. but the but the committee would help do research and discuss and speak with stakeholders and advise the board. This is a good idea with these conditions, or this is not a good idea because of X, Y, Z. Okay. They're going to they're gonna become our experts on coastal resiliency issues. A, a lot of towns are, are have these committees that are getting I, I mean, set up. I'm, that I'm are not, be more I, set I just up. can't, I just couldn't figure out exactly what. Well, it, t it takes a little while to get your head around it. Right. It's true. It it's does. It's bigger. It's so much bigger than just a committee that, that oh, yeah. you know, it seems like it's Yeah, it's, it's a lot of private property and, involved. It's yeah. public property. It's, it's, we're going right. to have a mix of. All right those people on the, on the group. Okay, so the board's going to finalize these missions to these committees at the end of the month and then make appointments at the end of June. And the cannabis thing was, uh, what are we doing with that? Well, that's basically a group, again, that's going to meant to advise the board on cannabis issues. What's going on in other towns? What's going on statewide, nationwide? Uh, what can we do here locally? What, what should, you know, what, what um, how many licenses should we have for different activities of marijuana. So does recreation Growing, start selling. July 1? Is that right? The, the rec, the, you can purchase recreational marijuana. Is it, isn't it well, July 1st? I don't know about July 1st. There are places open in the state where you can... No, I thought we were... 
I thought we oh. were opening ours. Um, okay, well, I don't know about July 1st, but there is a group, Green Lady, that is underway with getting all their permitting and licensing and stuff done. I, okay. And I don't know if they're, that, I don't know, I just don't know about that date. Well, that date was... They're going to the, open when they open. That was the date the state said that if you were either going to have a moratorium or not, and we decided that we weren't, or did we do a moratorium for we this We have year? a moratorium. For this year? Uh, no, okay, let me back up. We voted to limit the number of licenses to two. That's right. I knew that. Yeah. But but as far as the recreational, when when can people actually go out and buy this? Well, stuff? when the place is open. It's okay to if they're open tomorrow, they can sell it tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, I if they've gotten all their licensing, okay. They're not, but they've okay. got to grow it all, and they've yeah, no. got some stuff to do. Sure, first. sure. Okay. I was I was unclear on when we could when they're going to open. Yeah, and I don't. We can buy. All right. Yeah. They just they just have to open. And then you can okay. go buy whatever you want there. Okay, Olivia. Whatever they're selling. Will I see you in line? No. Or? No way. You will not. Okay. Um, anyway, we also had some follow-up about town meeting, 2019 annual town meeting, and some annual town election follow-up. So basically, following town meeting, town administration goes through all the articles, figures out what passed, what didn't, and what we need to do to implement what passed. And... Sometimes there are things that we need board direction on because they aren't things that are maybe definitely going to happen. There are things that the board possibly was authorized to do or the town meeting said, sure, do this, but it still re would requires additional action. So there were a couple of those things. One of those things is Article 34, which is a citizen-sponsored initiative to install stop signs on Surfside Road at the Bartlett intersection. And the article actually was an appropriation article to do in to fund the installation of the stop signs, but really it's the select board that authorizes whether or not the stop signs are going to go in. <laughs> so, long story short, the board said, let's put the stop signs in and let's get them in as soon as we can, hopefully next week, the week of April 15th. And under our traffic regulations, typically, to back up a bit, you need a public hearing to install stop signs or other types of traffic regulating items. In this, but however, there's a provision that says you can do temporary things for up to 60 days without a public hearing. So that is what we're operating under. The stop signs are going to go in next week. We'll see how they work. And then at the beginning of June, I think it is, the board will have a public hearing to evaluate input and evaluate how they worked. Uh, is there still a possibility a rotary could go there? Or? Uh, there still is, yes, um, but that is a ways off. We need additional funding for that proposal, mm -hmm. and it's not pr progressing right at the moment. Is, is, there, is that because the uh, traffic and traffic guy... Mike Burns, did he suggest we do it, or was that? Well, it wasn't, um, Mike Burns is a proponent and a suggester of it, yes, one of many. And th th this, this has been going on for several years. This is not a new proposal right. for a roundabout there. And it came out of an initial traffic study of traffic flow in that general mid-islandish area, and including the schools, as to how the traffic flow could be improved. And that was one of the recommendations. So we have had money appropriated by vote of town meeting to proceed with the design of it. And um, so it's moving along in the design. Are you, are, are you hearing good things about the rotary at the fairgrounds? I heard also? mixed things about that. Um, so the, you mean the temporary one? Yeah, or, the temporary yeah, one. Yeah, which, by the way, is coming out today, if it's not already out. Oh, I saw them working on it. Yeah. Oh, it's coming out. Yes. It's coming out. That was the, the the plan. Basically, was that depending on what happened at town meeting in the election, it would come out. Oh, I see. Okay. So that roundabout was approved was approved with some other related projects for that area at town meeting, but failed at the ballot by 16 votes. So the board talked a little bit about that too, and I think we're going to reevaluate breaking up that project even more. It already was broken up for the special town meeting last October, which we weren't able to vote on it because it wasn't a quorum, and for this town meeting. 
So I think we're going to look at breaking it up even more. Perhaps just start with sidewalks from the rotary on Old South to fairgrounds and then on fairgrounds to Newtown and then hopefully some improvements to Newtown and then maybe go back to the rotary uh, roundabout And, and idea. use money that we have somewhere well, else. Well, we don't have money somewhere else right now. So we're probably going oh, to have to, we're gonna, unless we're going to re- uh, use something that we were planning to do and not do that. We, we haven't even the looked at that yet. The towns could still go ahead and do it. Well, it depends it on how... It turned down by, by the voters for the price. The money was the issue. Well, I don't know if the money was the issue or not. Who knows why people vote things down. Generally, it probably is because of the money, but sometimes they just don't like the idea. Mm. So if the town has the funds, some of that project could proceed. But we don't... You know, it, this is a $5.2 million project, and even... Some of that we don't really have sitting around. So anyway, we, we need to evaluate it and determine if we're going to do some, other, some of these other improvements that seemed to be less uh, inflammatory, I guess, than the roundabout. So that stop sign thing I mentioned, that was discussed as part of the annual town meeting follow-up. And there were a couple of other things, but most of it just gets... Pro, uh, you know, processed by town admin and the departments. There were some other questions that did not pass at the ballot, so we're probably going to have to reevaluate those as well. And what are we going to do about them, or do we just say voters have spoken? We do nothing about this, and the consequences right. will be whatever they are. All right. Um, then we had a pretty lengthy discussion about downtown sidewalks. And the item on the agenda had to do with whether or not the town should go to the HDC when it wants to do a pro sidewalk project downtown. I can't even begin to go into the whole discussion, but... Yeah, there were so many people there. There was a lot of people there for this. A long story short, there, um, we're, we're not really progressing with the side, downtown sidewalk projects until we have a process as to how they're going to be preserved and um, properly restored and renovated and repaired and that sort of thing that people can agree on or mostly agree on. We did have a proposal though for, okay, so people probably have seen there's a um, sidewalk improvement project going on on Washington Street. This is just to improve the sidewalk from about Coffin Street to the town pier parking lot, town parking lot. And it isn't widened on the street side. It's widened going in into the, where the right-of-way is. There are a lot of encroachments along there, so those have been removed, and the sidewalk is being a little bit widened for pedestrian traffic. The American Legion approached the town and said, if you're doing that project, could you come around the corner and go in front of our building because we have some handicapped accessibility issues that we'd like to get addressed, and the sidewalk right in front of the Legion is broken up concrete. Then there's brick sidewalk, just before that and after that to Salem Street. So then the thinking was, if we're doing this project now anyway, maybe we ought to continue it to Salem Street, could address the Legion problem. At the meeting on Wednesday night, there was an issue brought up about the Artists Association with, with the drainage issue. Maybe we could address that. And this also would go along with one of the board's goals and its strategic plan to improve pedestrian access between Mid Island and downtown. So um, I don't think anybody was too overly worked up about that section of sidewalk being very historic, curbing wise and and you know appearance wise because it's been worked on probably here and there since the 1800s, and the curbing is perhaps not original. Anyway, what we said was we're going to go to the HDC for this project for review and recommendation by them, but not necessarily their approval, but their review and recommendation. So that is going to happen next week. So what is, what is the major issue here with the HDC? They, they find that um, they're not happy with the way it looks. Mostly, well, right? um, I think there it's are. Too smooth. A, well, there is that, but there's there's a couple of issues. There are those who believe um, that the foundational materials need to be um, his, 
historic. Historic, okay. They right. they, it, it, the work needs to be done in, in, in a traditional manner, not in a modern manner. I see. Because the fabric of it is right. considered not And so authentic. what's the big, what's, what's the problem for the selectmen? They seem to be leery of allowing their request to go through the HDC. Why well, I it? think there's a couple of issues with that. I think there's uh, um, some thinking that the HDC is a group that looks at architectural structures and not so much sidewalks because they mostly do buildings and, and some hardscaping too from time to time but mostly not sidewalks and are they really qualified to approve yeah, that the, the streets of, as far as I know I've never seen sidewalks look as different as they do now they they had they they definitely look different than they used to well for the last 20 of, years some years. some of them where the improvements have happened exactly yes. So I can see why they're a little upset because I mean, I mean, for 200 years they looked a certain way, and yes. all of a sudden they start to look more modern. Like the, the, this like is one of the concerns. Well, this is one of the concerns that have come up. I see. Yeah. And I, I think there's some other thinking that in some of these areas, like Straight Wharf, from Easy Street down to the ferry area, that sidewalk was very narrow. Um, tree roots were causing upheaval of upheaval of the bricks, and peop we got a lot of complaints from people saying they, it was very difficult for them to walk. I mean, you know, it is. It's difficult to walk with all your stuff, baby carriages, luggage. So what are we doing? Luggage, Encouraging more stuff. people to come to the island so that they can, you know, if we can fit more people well, on the Gino, sidewalk. It is a. I mean, this is um, what people are thinking. I, it, it is, I'm not but saying I'm being no, 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 no. I, I understand. I get it. I like the way things look too, and I don't love modern I mean, that's, change. When we moved here in the old days, that's what it was. Yeah, it but was. we're not in the old days anymore. Like it or not, we're not. And well, it, to the extent that we can restore things well, yeah, to be historic and look historic and be foundationally correct, then great. But we, in some if a sidewalk needs to, if, if we're, I mean, look at the boat, what comes off the boat. There's a lot of people that I come know. off the boat and they're falling off the sidewalk and they, sure. they trip and they can't man navigate and, you know, okay, so I hear from, I hear from some groups, we need to widen this out. The boats are bringing more people. There's a bigger boat. Well, I guess the it, HTC it, there's more trips. Be, yeah, the HTC once they see it, they can figure out a way where everybody's happy. I mean, there's a way to there's figure this out. There's absolutely no way everybody is going to be happy. Well, okay, impossible. No, no but there's compromise though. There's absolutely. That, that's so, what I'm so saying. hopefully that is where we're headed. Yeah, yeah. I think that is is definitely where okay. we're headed. All right. So that was a pretty lengthy discussion, and then, as if that wasn't enough, we had an HTC appeal. And HTC appeals, as you know, Gino, even though I noticed that you left early from the meeting, um, are notoriously, what is the word? Arduous. Tedious, arduous, lengthy. Some might use the word painful. Anyway, this had to do with a pool in Cisco that was approved by the HTC and the neighbor appealed the approval. Ooh. So, Drama. Um, in the end, the board upheld the HDC's approval. But there was a lot of discussion about this, and the discussion was, uh, the, the board has to apply some standards to when it considers an HDC appeal as to whether or not the HDC acted arbitrarily or capriciously in its decision making. And I can't even get what? into this, but, right, but there, was, what, there was lots overall. of discussion about if that happened or not. What, what was the problem with the owner? Uh, with the, um, the owner um, does not believe a pool is appropriate in that area. Simply put. That's Simply all. put. There may be a little bit more to it, but that was, that's the big picture. Okay. So he didn't want... And he, I think, um, can see it. He, he or, could see it. Yeah. You see. Although there was some screening discussed, and I don't know. I don't actually know if he can see it or not, but... This is this was the second pool appeal in about a month that was in the same area, same street even, and that appeal was also up, um, the HCC decision in that instance was also upheld, but there was some similar discussion. Okay, 
All right. Enough on that? Yeah, yeah. All right. Next week, we have public hearing Wednesday, the 17th. And I didn't print out my agenda, but so among the public hearings we have include mostly liquor license issues. So at okay. the old Fog Island location, yes. there are going to be two liquor licenses. There's a, applications for two liquor licenses there. One side will be a private catering event venue. So they are asking for a liquor license. The other side will be, a, it sounds like a small cafe restaurant type of business with a liquor license as well. Okay. One is all alcoholic, the other is wine and malt. Um, there's a new common victualler license for 31 Easy Street for Town Pool. This is the old Arno's building. And all right. they've been trying to, you know, I don't know what goes on. Town, what are they going to do? They want... um, they're going to sell um, food till 2 And they're going to call it Town Pool? It's already. It, it's Town their Pool building is, now. It's no, their, it's no, it's not their building. It's owned by Todd but, Arno, I believe. Yeah, Mr. but Arno. somebody else is moving in. Well, they're renting it. Town Pool is. Town Pool is renting. Oh, okay, it. and they want to have food. Yeah. Okay. We're having a public hearing to consider increasing ambulance rates. We are, are on the verge of implementing advanced life support ambulance service. We currently have basic life support, and um, because it's a higher level of service, we have increased the fees. Maybe we increased them. Four years ago ish and now they are being increased again we're on the believe it or not we're on the lower end of ambulance fees for our municipalities okay so that is going to be considered um, but for the most part ambulance fees are covered by people's health insurance all right the IT department information technology is coming in to give an update on what they've been up to town management monthly activity report is going to be reviewed and what else did I want to talk about here um, okay spring road work I want to mention this because oh some of the board more. members have said they're getting some complaints about it. We <clears throat> went to the board two weeks ago and reviewed spring road work. We've heard people say, why can't you do all this in the fall? Okay. If we did it in the fall, you'd say, why don't you do all this in the spring? There is a lose-lose here for yeah, right. everybody. Right. But this road work has to be done sometime. It can't be done in the summer, and it's too iffy to do it in the winter because of the cold temperatures and the asphalt plant is generally closed. So it has to be done now, and there is a lot of it going on. We've been trying to tell people this, and please go on the this town website and it, look at it. it. I, Come on. There's, I mean, there's no it's, really awesome time the, to do this it. This is the best time to do it. And, and sometimes fewer things here. happen that weren't planned on yeah. or known. For example, on uh, Pleasant Street this week, the Boys Club was oh, doing right. some work, and they did a sewer connection. That wasn't known till very recently, and that... You know. Another issue with the sewer connection? Well, no, they were putting a sewer oh, connection okay. in for a, some buildings they're going to be building over there. Oh, that's what It wasn't what a broken thing. It was, you that know. building that's got the big pot, they're going to be putting some housing in or something? They're putting some housing in. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So lots of spring road, road work going on. The milestone road work is probably going to be starting very shortly. And we got daffodil coming up. And yeah, it's going to be messy. Prepare that yourselves. A it is going to be messy. About um, they were watching the selectmen's meeting. They asked me about the real estate job that the town. Oh, the real estate specialist. Yeah, job? what is that? They wanted. We, they didn't get it. Oh well, we've been talking for some time now about the fact that we need a person to manage the town's real estate issues and transactions. We have leases with concessions that need to be managed. We have real estate acquisitions and dispositions that need to be managed centrally. Right now, it's handled by a variety of people, not, not very well centralized. We have encroachment issues that need to be addressed. Um, when groups come in and say, oh, the town should buy this land or that land, somebody needs to evaluate and assess it and apply some, some certain levels of review to it. Somebody needs to arrange for appraisals from time to time and now that the affordable housing 20 million dollar ballot question passed we are going to need some real estate assistance to manage all that we are spending money right now having town council prepare deeds and other real estate documents that if a if a town position was preparing them we'll probably save a little bit on legal so we fees. could save save money with i this think person? we will save a overall? bit of money overall yep all right so that is what the real estate position is. Okay. Good. What else you got? I didn't you know? get uh, who. Well, there's questions about the affordable housing thing in Hall, 
all that, how that thing's going to work. Yeah, we'll have to get into that later because I will. don't think we quite know how it's going to work. And, and yet. actually, you're probably not the person to talk to anyway about it, are you? Oh, probably not. not. I'm going to be involved, You'll but be involved. I'm not going to be in charge of it. No, but that's the housing trust. It's the Affordable Housing Trust, yeah. yes. If I am going to be meeting with them shortly with our real estate specialist and with some other people to start laying the groundwork for how we're going to get at this. Okay, because that, that's something that people want to know about. Oh, yeah, definitely. The other thing, stop and shop. I got some news. You do? Well, the strike's well I was over? just down there. And Is the strike over? No, it's not, but they want everybody to call Quincy. Just Google Quincy Stop and Shop and call them and tell them to get this thing over with. So... All your viewers out there should call a stop and shop and say, figure, figure this out. Cause Are you going to cross the, that picket line? If I have to get something, that's, I'm going to. Yeah, and I did. that's the way I feel. And I did. You did? Was yeah. it, did they give you dirty looks and stuff? No, they understand where I'm coming from. I mean, I got it. All I did was buy some salad and some chicken. Okay? Some, some, I'm was, good for the week now. I don't have to cross it. Yeah, and, I, and I don't want to. Yeah. But, but I didn't know they were going on strike. Oh. I, I didn't even know about it. Remember, well, I've been away. Oh, yeah, you've been away, right. So when they yeah. went on strike, I was Because they've been talking about it for a while now. Yeah, I didn't know. Yeah. So, so... Um, I think we were really hoping it wouldn't happen here, but why, you know, why wouldn't it? It could get hairy. It could get, you know, I mean, things are going to dry up pretty soon because I think the drivers, the trucks aren't bringing stuff over either now. They're not? They're, no, that's what are I heard. Are you sure? That's, no, uh, I don't. Well, they'll probably figure somebody... In yeah, the they'll, they'll, they'll have to use a different carrier, maybe. I see. Maybe you're right. Might, maybe right now would be a really good business opportunity for somebody to take grocery orders and go off island every day and get, maybe not every day. I don't know, maybe well, every day. What's the get story? people stuff. Yeah, but what's the story with Amazon and Whole Foods? Are oh, well, they planning probably, to do that? I, well, I, I, I don't really know, but there's probably going to be a spike in well, cardboard boxes coming here. Bartlett, the meat place. I mean, they, these oh, guys they're going to get a spike they've been, too. They've been spiked up. I'm sure they are. I hope they've I hope they've stocked up. Well, we, we'll we'll see. We will find out. I don't out. think they're ready. I don't think they're. Oh, I, I don't think they're completely I'm ready. I'm so glad I just went to the Stop and Shop on Tuesday. Okay, good. I didn't do my big shop though. I only right. did an interim. Right. Anyway. Anyway. Okay. So. Um, welcome back. Thank you. Do you know you were away for. Three months. months. Three months. Three months. Yeah. I worried a I bit about it. I saw Harry him. over there in Thailand. Oh. How, how about this? I mean, for all you parents out there, your kid, he's 13 years old. He sees you on a, on a 125 little motorcycle. And sure, they don't care. Go ahead, rent him it. They don't. Oh, there's, there's nothing, no age. There's no age yeah. thing. Yeah. If the kid knows how to ride it, get him on it. The kid's running around everywhere on He the must have loved that. He was the highlight. Oh, yeah, I bet. Having his own That's scooter so to go wherever he wanted at oh, that age. Oh, boy. Yeah, the, it's That's fantastic cool. over there, by the way. That's awesome. Um, I apologize for the state of my desk. It's, don't, just don't view down here. And it's you're doing a lot of renovation meeting. here in the building. There's That's some what? renovation in the building. Yep. We're probably not moving out anytime soon, so. It looks good, by the way. I like the colors, the choices. It, it's, yeah, good, thank good. you. Not, don't, don't freak out. Nothing is happening in my office. Nothing. No, okay. You had this done not too long ago, either. Do you know, uh, it was about 15 years ago. The painting? Mm-hmm. Maybe 12. Oh, gosh. But more than 10. Wow. Yeah. All right. Maybe eight. All right. <laughs> See? Well, People I can't remember, remember anything. It, but so they just throw stuff out, like yeah. I just did. Right. Okay. Thanks very much. See you next time.